Oh man. Hey guys, I think, I think, I think I should go peck hunt today. Oh yeah. Hey guys, how's it going? Nas here, Nazar, that's my name. You're watching Nostalgic. And uh, I think all signs point to go peck hunting today. Join me, shall I you? Ooh. Hey guys, welcome to Nostalgic. My name is Nazar and I'll explain inside why I'm at Walmart. I'm recording this intro as I already purchased things. So you know it's gonna be good and uh, judging by my wink, I think you're gonna know what I got. This Walmart has not had to have, has not had had anything in two to three months. Or at least I didn't get to it in time. Uh, I don't really peg hunt anymore, uh, only when I'm getting other things. And uh, today I scored, man. I scored. We got treasure hunts. We got super treasure hunts. We got Zamax. And a couple other things. That's right, plural. Let's go uh, dig with me. I just freaking, wow. I literally just, wow. I just started, turn the camera on. There's the super. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we got here. Fresh, fresh dump bins. And I am the first to get to them. How cool is that? So you want the dessert because I see. Are you serious? One dollar? It was like five online. Yeah, so it's not five dollars. No, 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 definitely not. Okay, so I, I'm talking about five dollars. These are the five dollar ones right there. Oh. What well, you got from the bin? Uh, it was actually on the side. Like someone, I guess, pulled it out somewhere. Oh, on the, 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 the side, yeah. right here. No, like someone put it on the side of one of the aisles. Like 40 of each just delivered two weeks ago. So uh -oh. be a whole bunch of them there, right? <laughs> there was only those two, so I got them. Okay, cool. So it's 118, it's not one. Are you looking for them or are you just, they're it's just like, missing? Uh, we already canceled, it was online order for a bunch of them, yeah. Uh, and I, well, I want to make sure we have it for next customer, yeah. So somebody pallet rated. <laughs> it is. Holy crap, yeah, man. Oops. <laughs> Shit. Wow. So yeah, someone definitely pallet rated stuff. You okay? We have this uh, small numbers in electronics. People like this a lot. People like these cars a lot. Yeah, but because you you know you, you collect them, right? It's yeah, not because, yeah. Like you play with them. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> yeah. You think I twenty twenty four one is used for twenty twenty four? Yeah, so like in twenty years you will sell it for how much? For a couple of hundred. Uh, I'm actually not. I, yeah, I don't. Yeah, no. The only ones that people kind of buy or to resell are the super treasure hunts. You know, like uh, this one that I found here. This one. Okay. See how it's shiny with yeah, the nice wheels? Cool, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So someone can sell this on eBay for like fifty, sixty dollars, sometimes Ooh. hundred and twenty. For real? Right now yeah. already. Right now, yeah. Damn. I can go out and sell this, but I'm gonna open it and See? put it in my collection. And you put it in another store. Put it here. In another store I had a person that he come and get it, I would save it for him. Uh -huh. I had that one that's all silver. Yeah, it these ones, the Zamac. Yeah. yeah. But it's like a little, it looks like a little van, but it came only six in the box, six, and he took all of them. Yep, yep. <laughs> I'm kind of pulling out all the good ones, and I'm going to put good most things. of them back. <laughs> yeah, people are, uh, yeah. I know I seem like one of them right now, but. <laughs> yeah, all these Zamacs, because they're Walmart exclusives to you guys. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. yeah, only here you can get these. Yeah, some of them we only sell in Walmart. Yep. <laughs> But yeah, it's it's crazy, man. 
I can't believe I found the super, by the way. I'm super happy. <laughs> yeah, I got that one. <laughs> yeah, I'm not getting all of them. Just uh, like two or three, then I share with my friends and stuff like that. Sometimes trade. But if you can take money out of it, you take whatever you can, you know? When I was younger, yeah, I did that. Now I just kind of collect and... <laughs> I know, I'm weird. I don't take the opportunity. <laughs> Kinda also just make YouTube videos. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, I'm not showing you guys. <laughs> they just want to see the hot wheels. Man, you guys got a lot of these. With this whole history, it's cancellation. It's delivered for two hundred thousand. Three. Which one do you want? Let me see. Let me see a picture. Let me see the picture. Yeah, sure, but this whole bunch of them because it's uh, not only this one, it's multiple. All right. Three. Can it be here? What are they looking for? Uh, just like this one. It'll come in here. Oh, yeah, that's the premium, yeah. That would be like in these on the pegs. Okay, okay. Yeah. This looks like black, right, eh? Yeah, with black the pegs. gold stuff on there. Gold stuff on there. Everything yeah, come in here at the same price. Yeah, no, no, I got physical, <laughs> but sometimes it's hard, but it's only free, so I don't think it's <laughs> Oh, God. Yeah, this one you can probably flip for like $20, $30. Cool. Cool. I'm probably going to leave those behind. <laughs> yeah, but it's not the one. It's for, for dollar. We need for seven bucks. Yeah. Can you ask her if she could visit here? I thought she's going here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think you want to say no, because you want to Oh my god. That was that was fantastic. That's the kind of uh, peg hunting experience I like to do. Hey, I didn't have to wait outside. Oh, I just found a second super. Just found a second super. Shout out to I heard you're retired from peg hunting. <laughs> Winky face. All right, let's see what else we got here. Can we get more than two supers today, kids? Oh, we have a treasure hunt. Now remember kids, uh, I'm hoarding, but I'm hoarding for Ukraine. I'm going to be selling these puppies at the auction and y'all can get them. And your money will go to Ukraine to save lives. Not for my fame. I don't know, should I get another one of these? Yeah, why not? Again, I am going to put back most of those. I just want to make sure that I reach out to people, to my friends and stuff like that. First. Ooh. Hey, good morning. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, dude. <laughs> this is like three months I haven't seen anything like this. Uh, this is fantastic. Oh boy. W. Whoops. Okay. Let's see. That was one. Let's go to two. It's so weird when people don't believe me that I don't resell these. It's the weirdest thing because that's what everyone does these days. Like everyone on YouTube is a reseller or scalper or whatever. Catch me on my whatnot, you know, type of thing. Wow, just like I'm just gonna start leaving those behind. Maybe. 
Not yet. I'm gonna put some back. Not leave them behind. <laughs> I was just at Target. There was a whole bunch of people like going crazy. This is just cool. Just gonna get another one of those. Another treasure hunt. Another Bugatti. I don't know anyone that wants the Bugattis, so these are really cool. It did feel nice educating them though. <laughs> Alright. So yeah guys, you know how I said I don't do pick hunt videos, because I don't. I'm literally here to uh, pick up some containers for my cat's poop. Uh, so we can test it because they've been having diarrhea for like three weeks so and the previous medicine they gave them uh, was not working so we have cat diarrhea all over the place and to get them tested it costs about a hundred and sixty dollars so yeah I'm kind of um, you know, that's why I'm probably not going to be buying all this stuff. Going to leave that treasure hunt there. Because I'm nice. <laughs> that was sarcasm. Okay, we have a toy Valanche here. I'm kind of just filming so you guys can see what I'm looking at here. Just in case I find a third. Super. Alright, yeah, I'm leaving those Zemax behind now. I think I have like seven or so. Oh, God. Oh, to those of you that always comment that I bend the cards, hopefully you're satisfied today. I took your advice. Trying not to bend anything. Trying to be nice. Trying to be fair and not give a bad name to the community. I'll leave that up to a couple of fellas I know. But yeah, it looks like uh, somebody raided uh, their premium cars and took stuff. So that's kind of a bummer. guy's Dimitri. I think he's Ukrainian. His accent's Ukrainian, not Russian. A Russian accent's very rough. God, there's so many of these. My goodness. Definitely leaving most of those behind for the next scalper. Yep, they just dumped the boxes out, man. It's crazy. <sighs> Alright, I'll be right back. Okay, hey, tiny little containers for cat shit acquired. Hey man, you guys ever hear of these? Oh, Hot Wheels Formula One candy filled car. Kind of cool. Got blue, green, red, and super treasure hunt. <laughs> Bong. Alright, so I had to go to uh, Michael's over there to get the poop canisters. Alright, so um, yeah, I picked up these two uh, supers right here. Um, very cool. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep one for my collection. Uh, the other one's gonna go for the Hot Wheels for Ukraine auction. See, there's the one on top has that little, like, uh, 
thing with the card, so I'll just open that one up and keep it. Probably. I don't know yet. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, man, two supers and freaking, it's been a long time, bro. Uh, also, I got a lot of stuff, guys, but um, this one I got, in case my boy Cameron needs one, I know he's into um, these uh, Ford GTs. <sighs> got a whole mess load of these Zamax NSXs because um, uh, I think they'll do good at the, the auctions. So I got a bunch of those. I'm not going to keep any of those, actually. Um, also, picked up one of these Subarus for my friend Aaron, cheap as bricks. Aaron, bro, you're getting another Subi, my friend. And one of these, I guess, people are into these, so um, I picked one up just to uh, whatever uh, for the auction, so I have no interest in that. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, they also had the Unimog. And believe it or not, man, do I have one of these on top here? I need to show you. Hold on a sec. The NSX, there's the most stuff. I left, like, a ton of those behind for the next guy. Uh, the least of the Zemac release are these things. The uh, 49 drag mark. Uh, I only came across maybe four or five of these. And uh, I think I only picked up two. Two of them? I don't know. But, uh, uh, so yeah, I got... Those, um, let's see, what else did I pick up here? I'm trying not to mess up my, um, oh yeah, like I said, I got these uh, regular treasure hunts. I think these are beautiful. I saw uh, Walter pick one of these up, uh, you know, Hotline of Diecast, and um, before I passed these up, because I was like, I don't collect treasure hunts. This isn't for me, by the way, either. But um, yeah, I picked up a couple of these and left some behind, or left one behind, or two, I don't remember. What did I just say? <laughs> yeah, I got two. There we go. I see the other one. So yeah, Unimogs, Treasure Hunts, a bunch of Zamax, and two Supers. So, <sighs> awesomeness, man. Uh, I picked up a couple of other regulars because I think some of my friends might want those. I don't know. We'll see. But um, I'm just I'm just excited, man. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you guys because... Ugh. I know a lot of people make these videos and, uh, you know, they go to these uh, Walmarts and stuff. And uh, this is talking with Nas, man. Walking and talking, except I'm not walking. So, um, yeah, you know how you guys watch a lot of these pet hunting videos? That's kind of like why I stopped making them, because um, a lot of people, um, they just wait at the door and then raid the inside and go open all the boxes, take out everything that I just took out. Uh, yeah, those those YouTube channels are crazy, man. Some of them even say like, hey, man, I retired from freaking uh, collecting or peg hunting. You know, you didn't. You didn't retire from shit, man. Uh, I see people in these stores peg hunting crazy. I see people um, <sighs> pallet raiding and all that stuff. And these are people that I've seen before and they're like, oh, I don't really peg hunt anymore. Bro, you're pallet raiding right now in front of me uh, about two months after you said that you don't peg hunt anymore. So people are lying through their teeth um, and there's a lot of YouTubers that say stuff and they don't really stick to it. Uh, they claim to be, you know, someone who doesn't do it anymore, yet they do it because how the hell are you getting all those supers, bro? How the hell are you getting all those other ones? It's not because you're sitting there with a the thumb up your ass, is it? So yeah, um, it's one of those things, man. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to kind of make that clear that I just got a shitload of this because there are scalpers and resellers and they'll be here in five minutes and get the rest of the stuff that I left. I can only hope that maybe a regular collector would pick up some of these today for themselves, but that's not gonna happen. It's just not gonna happen, man. That's that's how that's how things go these days. So um, that's kind of like, you know, uh, it's such a headache, bro. Um, the YouTube diecast community has become like just this toxic thing where everyone's just running around trying to be popular on YouTube, trying to show everything they pick up all the time. That's why I stopped making peck hunt videos, man. I still peck hunt. Uh, I hate fucking liars, bro. That's that's the main thing that I'm talking about here. Um, I still peck hunt sometimes. I just don't go out with intent to peck hunt. I go to freaking pick up things that my mom needs or my girlfriend needs or someone else needs something or I need like toilet paper to for my teepee for my bun hole or uh, you know um, paper towels to clean up cat shit on the ground like that's why I go or I'll go to like a grocery store to pick up things 
I'm a collector of diecast, so I'm going to look at diecast as well. But as far as uh, just going out there and make uh, peck hunt videos, and that's the point of me making a video and going out there, that's over. Um, that's been over for a long time. You guys know my channel. So, um, yeah, it's interesting. It's interesting. Um, like what I was saying before, that I see people that claim one thing or another. And uh, that's a fire truck. That's a fire truck. I'm telling you, fire trucks are my luck. And that thing just freaking proved to me that that's what's going on. So um, anyway, guys, um, just uh, here. Whoa! So yeah, um, those of you watching, if uh, any butthurt scumbag whose um, ego I hurt tries to tell you that uh, I'm not honest or uh, that I'm a scalper or something, uh, you can tell them to uh, cram a big old bag of dicks right up their ass because um, they can put it in their mouth. I don't care. Whatever tickles their pickle, man, I don't care. Um, I'm a collector. I have a lot of friends that are collectors. They peg hunt for themselves. Sometimes they'll pick up one or two things to trade or whatever, but they don't do like what I just did here. That's not something my friends do. Uh, I don't know anyone that does that. That's a friend of mine. So, um... Yeah, I used to know a lot of people like that. They still do that. And that's why I kind of stepped away from that whole scene, man. Um, not talking shit on peg hunters, man. You guys do your thing. If you're just if you're a collector and you're out there doing your thing, I love you. You're awesome. That's what I do. Uh, but there's a huge underline. There's a huge difference between a diecast or Hot Wheels collector and a YouTube diecast or Hot Wheels collector. YouTubers are a different thing. Um, there's a whole lot of lying going on out there. And uh, I know that I make YouTube videos. By no means am I a YouTuber. Um, that's something I kind of wanted to be for a while, but uh, I, I don't anymore. Not seeing what I'm up against. Not seeing, like, I don't want to be on the same, like, platform as these people uh, who just lie, who use their viewers to their own benefit constantly they just kind of like sap and do different things just to fucking benefit personally from it not for charity not to like get things necessarily just for their collection because they love this stuff people that are just out there hunting for value monetary value um hopefully i'm coming across clear to you guys um so yeah hopefully you enjoyed this video those of you that stuck around till the end hopefully i made sense to you uh i just want you guys to know that um I do different things. I've tried pellet rating like in 2020. I did it like three times, three freaking times. And that was all on film just because I wanted to see like how it goes. And all those times I asked the people that work there, I'm like, hey, can I, you know, take a look through these boxes and I'll put them up on the pegs for you. Back a few years ago, they didn't care about that. Nowadays they do. They care about that a lot because of that toxicity I told you about. Because all these people rush in here, they kind of push each other around, they just take shit off the pallets, they open it in the, like behind the shelf. Like you saw those two employees, they were looking for premiums that someone wanted to buy that they ordered on uh, online, I guess, and they couldn't find them because I found uh, those two um, that I just showed you, the Subi and the Honda, uh, because somebody found the pallet, they opened the box, took the things that they wanted, and left the other things that I found at the on the edge of the what's it called uh, you know end aisle end peg end <laughs> the end of the freaking uh, thing so yeah the toxicity just the the backstabbing it's all just disgusting to me and um, that's why I stepped away from the YouTube Hot Wheels thing I make videos and I'm gonna continue showing you guys Hot Wheels because I'm a collector I'm an enthusiast I love cars I love Hot Wheels, I love Diecast. That's all it is, that's all it is to it. And whatever I do stuff like this, whenever I pick stuff, I didn't have to show you this video, I didn't have to freaking be like, this video is not gonna get a lot of views, this video is not gonna make me famous, this video is not gonna get me uh, anything really. Uh, but what I did this for, why I pick up treasure hunts, well, not all treasure hunts, cause whatever, but if I do pick up treasure hunts or super treasure hunts, especially, if it's not something that I want, that's why I'm kind of on the fence about this Nissan, even though I really like it. I'll probably still keep it. <laughs> but, um, well, one of them. And I'm not going to sell it on eBay. I'm not going to do any of that crap. 
I do auctions for Ukraine. These are fundraise auctions that I do on my channel, and I'm going to do these on WhatNot as well. And 100% of the proceeds go to Ukraine, to volunteers there, to um, straight up to uh, people, other YouTubers who are Ukrainians who collect funds for drones to get rid of the fascist Russians. Um, I just, that's all I do, man. I'm Ukrainian. I'm not out on the front lines with a gun right now because I have responsibilities right here. Uh, my mom has a lot of disabilities that I need to be there for her for. And um, that's what I do, man. Uh, I try to work. I do my different hustles. I keep it honest, actually, not just saying shit like that. Like, you know what I mean, guys? Um, yeah, it's, it's one of those things. So I just wanted to, to make this clear that uh, whenever you see me getting a haul like this, it's not for myself. I don't give a shit. My collection is on my wall. I don't have bins and buckets and boxes that I have no, not even a clue what's in them. I used to. Like I said, I've tried different things throughout my career, throughout my collecting careers. I've done this with retro toys. I've done this with uh, retro video games, consoles, uh, new toys, um, all sorts of different things, man. I'm, I'm a collector, man. It's in my blood. I love to collect. And the stuff that I used to resell would be at the flea market. It wasn't like, you know, eBay shit. I sold eBay. I have experience with eBay because I worked for a dude. Uh, who was a scrapper, uh, he was also a clean-out guy, like house clean-out guy, so he would find amazing treasures, and he hired me to list things on eBay for him. I would list 200 items per day on eBay, and he paid me hourly for that shit. So um, that's why I quit, because he wasn't paying me enough. I made the dude like $80,000 in like, I don't know, six months, and he wasn't paying me enough, so I'm like, fuck this shit, I'm out. So, um... Don't worry, he found himself another sucker to do it, so uh, that's how people work, man. So, uh, yeah, I have experience in all this shit, but I'm not one of these people who's selfish. I'm not a narcissist like some of these people on YouTube that you guys watch. They tell you all these nice things, they say nice things about themselves, they pretend they donate things. Sometimes they donate to things, but like, a lot of these guys are just full of shit. They just want to keep up a good persona on YouTube so that you think they're a nice person. A philanthropist somebody who's donating things they don't care man they're just donating crap they don't want or they're getting their viewers to donate to donate crap to them that they don't want then they go and donate these things like that's beautiful that's nice and everything but the reason behind you doing that is not nice it's not a good thing so I knew a lot of people like that personally so I know what what their intentions are so yeah, uh, sorry that I went on for so long. Uh, most people don't watch this stuff at the end here. People just want to see the, the Hot Wheels bins and the super treasure hunts and stuff. And uh, yeah, so if any of you guys want any of this stuff for your collection, uh, stay tuned. Oh, it's another uh, freaking uh, fire truck or fire ladder. I might have to go to another Walmart or Target. <laughs> Maybe it's my lucky day. No, no, I'm done, man. Um, so yeah, just want to keep you guys informed, man. Uh, I keep things real here. I keep things honest here. I'm not some freaking YouTuber that's just out there to get your views. I really don't care. I would love to get to uh, 10,000 subscribers, but I don't want those subscribers to be empty. I cons consistently tell people to unsubscribe if they don't like my videos. And uh, some have, but then I regain new followers and new viewers and new subscribers. And uh, that's not what drives me, man. That's not what drives me. You guys, like... This shit's for charity. This shit's for Ukraine. This shit is to help people. I'm here trying to be honest and trying to support Ukrainians and support people from fascism and genocide. That's what my channel is about these days. And stay tuned because soon I'm going to be changing up a lot of my content. Content. There's going to be a lot more art. There's going to be a lot more other stuff like toys, vintage toys. Not necessarily stuff that I'm going to be collecting, but I'm going to be documenting. I'm going to be making fun videos for you guys to enjoy watching. And uh, with that being said, if anybody, if anybody else wants to donate anything else to these auctions or anything, please hit me up um, right here. Leave me a comment or on my Instagram at uh, nostalgic underscore official or nerds for Ukraine um, with underscores behind each word. So um, check those two out. Send me a message. If you want to donate anything, we do toy drives like stuff that doesn't sell at the auctions. I put in a box and send it to Ukraine. They give it to kids in the hospital there or orphanages or uh, kids that lost their parents due to the fucking war. 
So um, I don't fuck around here, man. I don't need to freaking make up stuff. I don't need to make myself look good. I really don't give a shit what you guys think of me. Some people think of me. Um, I have really good, good little community I've created here on the Nostalgic Channel. I love all of you guys who are here. You guys know what I'm all about. I've never changed anything I do. Um, at least the reasons for what I do these things for. So um, I'm either here to entertain you or to, uh, to do charity. That's all we do here. Since the war started, that's what my channel has become about. All I'm trying to do is raise money for Ukraine. That's all I'm doing. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And uh, if I ever stumble upon this uh, crazy stuff like this, I'm going to make a video about it. But uh, just empty. Look at me. I'm going to a store to peck hunt. That's over. That's been over. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace, love, and unity, guys. Bye. And I wish you would stop bad-mouthing the most yeah. perfect truck on the internet. That'd be so cool to see a Ukrainian tank just crush the Cybertruck. Just um, running it over like a killdozer? I really want them to send it out on the battlefield. Anyways. Yeah.